Hey everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to talk about how to give a presentation on Zoom while still being able to see all of your students. So let's say you're this person, right? You see on the computer there's a presentation and then there are students in a grid. Some teachers in the Facebook group have said that they're not able to see all of their students while they're presenting. So if a student raises their hand, they're not able to see it. So there are a couple of ways to fix this problem. The first would be to make sure that you are in gallery view. So when you see your participants in the Zoom call, you'll see these multiple options here. And when you have a certain number of kids or adults, if you're doing this for work and not necessarily to teach, you just need to make sure that you hit this grid option and then you'll see the students in this format. Now you can actually get the grid bigger or smaller so that you get everyone in a single page. Otherwise you would have to, if you see this arrow down here, hit the arrow to go to the next page of participants. Now I'm showing you a picture because I don't have enough people or devices to make my own Zoom call to illustrate this for you. So uh, when you have that Zoom call and you have that certain number of students come in, um, I think there needs to be at least four or five in a call in total before you can do this. And then just hit that button. That should solve many of your problems. But what if you are giving a presentation and you only know how to give it in presentation mode? thereby obstructing your view. You can't see the full slide while still looking at the students. And if you're like me and you don't have a dual monitor option, uh, there's a couple of solutions for you. If you have PowerPoint, you have a couple of options. The first would be to go to the slideshow tab on your bar. Then you go to set up slideshow. Here, instead of presented by a speaker full screen, you click on the middle option, browsed by an individual window. Hit OK. And then when you are in the presentation, it will turn up as a window that you can scale. You see the green square around my presentation. I'm already sharing it in Zoom. You can see I'm sharing the screen and the participants, they see it as a normal screen in the middle of their computer. It's not the fact that this is smaller doesn't obstruct their view at all. So that's one option. The other option, if you're like me and you like to have your presentation in presenter mode, so I'm going to go back to the previous setting. So when it's in full screen and I do this, I'm going to hover over these three dots, go to show presenter view. And I really like to have my notes up here while I'm presenting, but I don't necessarily want the students to see them. So here, I'm going to go on the advanced tab and click on portion of the screen. Now for your very first time, you'll need to adjust this to where it has to go. But because I've already used it in this setting, it already knows to automatically go here, which is really awesome. I don't have to adjust it again. And yeah, I can have my students appear in a grid while I'm teaching and still look at my notes and all they see is the presentation in a nice big view in their window. Okay, now what about if you use Google Slides? So if you use Google Slides, this tip is also really helpful because sometimes, as it is here, you can see my tabs, right? So if you wanted to show the students just this area, you could just expand this and they wouldn't see your tabs. And it also means that you wouldn't have to be in full screen mode. I find that being in full screen mode makes it more difficult to uh, navigate anything else. So let's say, let's go back to our first example where we had a minimized screen and we had all the students here, for example. So then you could just minimize this window to cover 
uh, just the presentation portion and not the whole window itself. Because if you were to, for example, go here and then click on the window to share the window, it would also include sharing your tabs. But if you did it this way under the advanced option of portion of screen, then they're only seeing the portion of the Google Slides that you actually want them to see. Um, I hope this was helpful. This is three different ways that you'll be able to see all your students. Grid mode, presentation, portion of the presentation for both PowerPoint and Google Slides, or the third option is to just, in PowerPoint, set up your slideshow so that it's a window and then you can share that whole window. Okay, thank you so much for watching and tune in for my next video.